Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I want to do an unboxing and I just, I got this particular deck recently uh, and I actually got it through a pre-order before she put it on her website. So it's a brand spanking new deck and the author is Isabo Maxwell, she goes by Bo. Um, and she has a really interesting email list I've been on for a while and this is her deck it's one that she's designed it's called beyond the gates the cloud jumper deck and there'll be a link in the description if you're interested in it it's gonna be more of an oracle type deck so it's not a tarot it's not a 72 card deck I believe it only has 50 cards 60 cards <laughs> um, but I figured we could do the unboxing here and I was watching, because she was talking about in some of her emails that she was building a uh, card deck that she was really wanting to get out for everybody to see. And so that's what this one is. And I like the fact that it's got this nice little hinge on it. I mean, <laughs> brand spanking new. Uh, so it's this beautiful, to me anyway, very beautiful interior. I took the cards out just now. But it says... My intuition guides me with clarity and love. Super shiny if my light would catch it. There we go. Uh, but it's a heavy duty little box and it's very stiff, which is good to keep your card safe, you know? Um, obligatory booklet, which has, um, where are we at here? The basics of all of, just basically how to tune into this particular deck which I think is pretty clear, pretty cool. But she is a spiritual coach, intuitive, oh, I'm sorry, in intuitive development and empowerment. She has helped people connect to their authentic, natural, intuitive abilities since 2007. Uh, she is the founder of the award-winning intuitive development course, The Sage Method, and the author of best-selling books, Cracking Open Adventures of a Reluctant Medium. Uh, and then she also has a community called The Sage Circle. That's the emails that I was talking about. But that's her, and like I said, her emails are actually super informative. I've only done a few of her free videos that she sends out randomly, but I really do like the um, her newsletter. There's a lot of really good information in it. And the reason I kind of fell in love with this and just needed to have it myself was there is a very specific thing missing from this deck. And as I start flipping through cards, you're going to notice what I'm talking about. There's something missing. There are no words. There are no numbers. It is just the artwork. And the artwork is in this kind of spatial fantasy type um, style which makes me think back to some of the old art styles uh, from back in the day. There's Now everything's kind of AI and digital, but there used to be some of these very etheric style artists back in the day that would do stuff like this with just acrylics and watercolors or oils, and they would build these beautiful paintings. And some of it was on, I'd see it on DeviantArt as well, where it was just amazing work. But this deck, as I was flipping through it, when she first said that she was going to do the um, pre-order for it and I was flipping through the pictures I was just shocked by like the maj the majesty of these cards and she goes through her exercise on how to tune into the cards which is always a good thing to get yourself ready get the cards familiar with you and your intuition um, the back of the cards is just kind of a simple eyeball which is simple but I think intuitively because it's telling you to look inside is what I'm hearing and it's not just a simple eye it's like look beyond look deep within because that's where your answers usually are hidden anyway but uh, she does not have and that this is the other part that I thought was unique when I was doing the pre-order for this is this deck does not have does not have a book with it like your standard this card means this. This card means this. It was portrayed as 
the cards themselves are the message. The cards themselves are the things that are going to trigger your intuitive uh, wake up call, so to speak. And I'm drawing a couple cards. We'll just see see how uh, from a brand spanking new deck what we got. Um, but it was interesting to kind of watch the development because when you get in on some of these, it's like the Kickstarters and things like that. If you've never done that, um, carefully select one that you really like because they send updates and emails and they give you ideas of when stuff's coming, um, conceptual art, and that's what was going on with this. And that's why, like I said, I've been following her for a while, so this was one that I was totally on board with <laughs> doing a pre-order for. But like this card, so I just pulled three random cards. This card we, I showed earlier, but when you look at it, it's feeling of, first of all, I'm getting Divine Feminine with it, but it's also a lot of the solar energy, but the solar energy is supporting and behind. So the solar energy in this one, the Matt Warm Masculine, is how I'm seeing this, is guiding the feminine forward or it supporting her in her endeavors where she's the, kind of the one steering the ship but she has the power and the support that i mean it's a good teamwork because someone has to steer the ship but someone has to row and that's what i'm hearing with this is it's just all about stepping into your authority knowing that you have that support and guidance if you need it as you move through your life this one this one i'm getting study it's time to study it's time to learn new things it's an awakening period where your mind is actually waking up to newer possibilities uh, there's also i'm <laughs> i'm also and as i'm looking at this i'm getting this impression of writing that great american novel or putting pen to paper and getting your journals and your thoughts out of your head and onto paper but what i'm also seeing is when you look at the stars and look at the top part of the card here it's giving that impression of escape maybe it's a time for a mental escape like allow your brain to just go off books are amazing uh and i don't mean digital things like we we tote these things around all day we don't need that but a physical actual book you know this type where you actually have to pick it up and you have to flip the pages there's something soothing about that and it allows your mind to escape it allows your mind to decompress and that's what I'm hearing with that card. So the third one I pulled, ooh, did not see this one in the conceptual art. This is cool. There is an eternity of learning. There's an eternity of experience. We are a drop in the ocean experiencing what we see as our lifetime, which is in reality a blip on the cosmic scale. The concept of eternity, the concept of never ending is something that we as mortal beings cannot fully um, comprehend or understand but the closer we get and the more we awaken to our spiritual selves the more we can start to see how our part plays out in this world that's the energy i'm getting from this we have the solar energy above guiding us but we're also in the circle of life there's this continuation of existence that's going on here and you also have the eternity so there's a flow of energy that is never beginning, it's never ending, it's constant and ever changing, but it's still going forward. And that's what I'm hearing with these ones. So this deck is actually pretty talkative, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but it's a fun little deck that I was watching as it kind of was de being developed a little bit. And I will link um, it in the description. It's to her website. There's a bunch of her other stuff on there as well. Um, some of her other works, some of her classes and courses, but I, this one I just I love this particular card, and this was part one of the deciding factors for me was this one, because it gives you that concept of time, as we would see it is kind of finite, but in reality, because look at what's going on around it, there's so much more there than what we really see. It's like we're focusing on this point, this point right here that's not all there is to life there's so much more to our existence and that's when I see that that particular card it's just one of those things where you're like we are so trapped in the t the time the time who's got the time but that's not reality that's not everything that there is there's so much more than staring at that stupid clock on the wall or the punch clock at work 
there's so much more available and how many of us actually go out there and explore it how many how much the how many of us actually go out there and understand work is work but you still have to go have a life after that um, and that's kind of what I was seeing when I first saw the artwork for some of these was it I mean it was talkative then but this is this card in particular was one that really caught my attention right off the bat so um, just a little deck that I figured I might start integrating here shortly uh, it's pretty talkative now want to work with it a little bit before I you know take it fully public but if you guys are interested in this deck like I said I'll have it linked in the description you can go check it out uh, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that it's just somebody that I really do respect in a lot of ways um, obviously you don't have to agree with everything that everybody does but I do like her style and I like how she brings things forward because there's it actually is easy to understand for the most part but the cloud jumper deck um, called beyond the gate very very cool deck very good artwork um, and see what your intuition if you decide to get it see what your intuition calls you for and uh, if you do end up using it and you are inspired or you get it and you're like eh, not so much let me know in the comments down below as well with that I will let you guys go have a great rest of your week